The Gateway to Freedom International Memorial, a monument featuring escaping slaves and an underground railroad conductor pointing toward Canada. It represents freedom and of course um, in a binational sense with the Tower of Freedom in, in, in Canada. Erected 20 years ago in 2001, members of the original committee that helped to get this monument in place decided it was time to celebrate its anniversary. We came down to just have a site survey and all of a sudden we started seeing these, these cracks and these um, big old holes in the monument. Members of the Michigan Underground Railroad Exploratory Collective were devastated. I was like short of tears when when I saw that. The nonprofit sent pictures of the monument to the sculptor for further review of the damage. He said, oh my goodness, there's vandalism here. The sculptor also detected some of the damage appeared to be intentional. We're deliberate and intentional uh, use of a, a crowbar to separate the granite. These organizers believe the damage is so bad right now they're postponing any type of anniversary celebrations. We've had to postpone the um, event until until this is fixed. But who's responsible for repairing this symbol of freedom? These activists say they have started a petition to increase awareness about the need to get this monument, the TLC, it deserves. Actually, we had been looking for the trust fund, which had been set up 20 years ago, for repairs to the monument. And then we couldn't find anybody who knew anything about it. The Fox 2 problem solvers reached out to the city of Detroit for answers, and they tell us that the city's historian is currently researching the ownership of the gateway to freedom monument. The statement also reads in part, because this is such an important monument in our city, the downtown development authority has stepped in to clean and polish the statue and have an assessment done of its overall condition. Once the DDA reviews this assessment, it will work with its partners to ensure that the necessary repairs are made. These community activists just hope the repair work takes place sooner than later so their monument doesn't fall through the cracks. This entire wall is a foundation, so we're worried about it being subjected to further damage. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.